What we've learned is that the use of sports supplements it, you know, is a rapidly growing market. It's not just elite athletes who are interested in using sports supplements, but it's, it's many sort of everyday people. Um, and the athletes want to know that they have confidence as far as possible that what they're taking is doesn't contain a banned substance isn't contaminated so standardizing testing is really really important and making sure that where possible that, that you can know that you can buy a product in one shop in another shop in another country the same product if it's got um, a brand name on it that's got um, the logo that says this has been tested that you have confidence in that product that's what we heard the athletes asking for one of the points that was made to us today is that, that sometimes you're testing for really, really, really tiny amounts of a substance if you're looking at elite, elite athletes. The tests are 50,000 times more sensitive than would be for a normal pharmaceutical drug, for example. So um, the athletes um, know that they are taking you know, e even the, the most common of supplements. They're really, really wanting to make sure there is no contamination in the manufacturing process. And then also we've discussed how this links into work that we've been doing to protect consumers from counterfeiting on medicines, for example, as well. And this is, to me, one of the reasons why we're here in this place, is to bring together experts from different countries to look at what is an international market and to work together in that common market to look at whether or not we can improve standards for consumers.